Let's draw the Lewis structure for zinc chloride. Zinc is a metal. It comes from the left side of the staircase. That's where you find metals on the periodic table. And chlorine is a non-metal. It comes from the upper right corner of the table. That's where you find non-metals. When you combine metals and non-metals together, you get an ionic compound, which means there's a transfer of electrons from one to the other, specifically from metal to non-metal. Now, chlorine brings seven valence electrons with it. So I'm going to draw chlorine here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Great. Now I'm also going to draw my zinc. Zinc wants a charge of plus two. I know that because I used to have a periodic table that listed the charges and zinc only ever could have one charge and it was always plus two. But if you didn't know that, I want to point out that chlorine being a halogen wants a charge of minus one and there's two of them. So what charge does zinc need to cancel out two minuses? It needs two pluses. So it's plus two. Get it? Sure. Rewind if you didn't. What I want you to do, because you know it wants a charge of plus two, is just give it two valence electrons. Done. That's just the start of it, though. I'm motivating how this Lewis structure comes into existence. Chlorine, the non-metal, wants to satisfy the octet rule. It wants eight electrons in its outer shell, and currently it only has seven. Where is it going to get the extra? Well, I'll tell you, a metal will give its electron away. Now, that's all well and good, but where's the extra electron on zinc even going to go? The answer is another chlorine atom with its seven valence electrons. It will happily take the extra electron. Now you've got zinc with no electrons and two satisfied chlorines with eight electrons each. I just want to point out that the fact that you needed two CLs was given away in the formula. See, it says here there are two CLs in the structure. That's it. Now to finish off the Lewis structure, I want you to write the zinc in the center with no electrons around it. It gave away its electrons after all. It's now an ion, so it gets square brackets and put plus two as the charge there, okay? It gave away two negatively charged electrons. It lost negatives, which made it positive. Got it. Chlorines, on the other hand, I'm gonna have you put on either side. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for chlorine. But wait, one extra for each because they took it from zinc. Now they are also ions with one extra electron. That gives them a minus one charge. And this chlorine becomes chloride the exact same way. That, my friends, is the complete Lewis structure for zinc chloride. You got your positive two ion in the center. You got two negative one ions. Notice that those charges all add to zero, just like the total charge on the particle is zero. Congratulations, you're a hero. Best of luck.